In this video clip, I will show you how to analyze your data from ELISA assay and how to build a standard curve that follow quadratic second order polynomial in graph pad prism. And in this video, I will also show you step by step how to prepare your data in Excel sheet and how to transfer this data into graph pad prism and how to decide which standard curve to use to fit the standard uh, samples absorbance and i will also show you how to construct a, a par chart uh, or a graph uh, uh, and how to determine whether there is a statistical significance between the compared groups. Here in this Excel sheet, I had inserted a layout and design for the 96 well plate that has been used in ELISA assay. And the uh, plate was sectioned into parts. The first two columns, uh, the standard samples were loaded in duplicate from A to G, column 1 and 2. And uh, for the uh, row H, 1 and 2, uh, a plank was inserted. Uh, each samples loaded were color-coded light pinkish for the standard samples light red for the diseased unknown samples and light green for unknown control for comparison each sample were loaded in duplicate and the absorbance was measured at 450 nanometer the second section here shows the labeling of the samples. The first two columns for the standard samples and the plan. The red coded uh, text for the uh, diseased samples and the green for the control samples, unknown samples. In the next section, the raw data was inserted for all the samples the first step for the analysis of the data is to subtract the absorbance for each samples from the plank which is in these two cells so each samples whether it's unknown samples for control disease or even the standard samples will be subtracted the absorbance will be subtracted from the absorbance for the plank which is the water and the way to do that click here on this cell and select the cell insert equal sign then select the absorbance value uh, then add the minus sign then type average click select average then select the plank values here at this place close the bracket and to make this plank as a reference where the software can use them for subtraction for the rest of the samples then add a dollar sign here for the first one and a dollar sign for the second one hit enter a value is generated after plank corrected to auto fill and auto calculate uh, the blank corrected value select drag and release and for the rest also select drag and release and for the water it's already planked at zero and for this section here uh, select this again to auto fill and auto calculate now we have the values of the absorbance for each samples in duplicate for the unknown whether disease or control and for the standard samples 
that the water value or the blank is deducted from. The next step is to arrange the data to be copied and transferred into graph pad prism. Here in this section, I had inserted the values for the concentration of the standard samples, which is given in picogram per mil, and the samples were serially diluted as shown here, and the absorbance was measured at 450 nanometer twice for the two loaded samples, and also the absorbance for the rest of the unknowns, whether they are uh, diseased or control, were also copied and inserted in these two columns. Next, copy the values for the serial dilution concentration with the absorbance in duplicate, control C, and then open a uh, graph pad prism and select the create XY and since we have the uh, absorbers in duplicate select the Y enter two replicate values inside by side sub column click on create a sheet is generated and then paste the data here as shown here, X for the concentration, picogram per mil, and the absorbance in duplicate. Copy the rest of the absorbance for the unknowns, disease and control, and paste them in the area here for absorbance, and select the uh, labels for each standard samples insert them here in this place and this is the plan for P and also for the samples select the labels here for control and samples and insert them in this area here to proceed with the analysis we first have to construct a standard curve based on the absorbance and the concentration of the standard samples, the serial dilution. And to do that, first of all, let's generate a scatter plot for the standard um, samples with the absorbance uh, by clicking at the graph here and uh, select the new graph and then we are going to stick with the uh, scatter plot here and click on OK. A graph is generated here, scatter plot. The graph here shows that the uh, standard curve is not linear. And to proceed with the analysis, back again to the data to generate the standard curve and then to calculate the concentration for the unknowns click on this icon here in this new window select the standard curve to interpolate since the uh, data or the scatter shows a non-linear um, relationship between the absorbance and the um, concentration then we have an option of choosing whether to go for second order polynomial quadratic or hyperpolar uh, and i'm going to uh, stick with the second order polynomial quadratic as shown by the scatter plot select the second order polynomial quadratic and take the plot curve with click on ok and then tick on the data and a curve is fitted for the standard samples and the curve is bent as shown here which is a quadratic uh, polynomial uh, second order and i'm going to do a little bit of editing here by changing the font for the x-axis and the y-axis and i'm going to give the uh, graph a title uh, protein 
our ELISA 14x level and I'm going to uh, reduce the uh, length of the x-axis by clicking on it and then untick the automatically determine the range and the interval and change the maximum to 1500 click on enter and then I'm going to edit the, the x-axis again by selecting the minor text okay now we have the curve ready fitting the point for the standard samples and from this curve the concentration of unknown samples will be determined uh, if we go back again to the data and then click on the result section click on the interpolation of the data three sections are generated the first one is the interpolated mean so the mean for each sample the concentration or the mean concentration for each sample is calculated and given here in picogram per mil and the absorbance for each sample the next section shows the individual samples the concentration for the individual samples with the absorbance and the third sections which is the table of the result showing that the uh, curve has been fitted using second order polynomial quadratic and the goodness of fit r squared is a, a value of 0.99 which is a, a high one back again to the interpolated mean for each unknown samples we have now the average concentration for the disease and the control we could also draw a part chart select the concentration for the disease control copy and then open a new um, sheet in graph pad prism click on column and then uh, select the first option enter replicate and then click on create enter the data here and insert the label for it which is the disease and for the second one is the control and back again to the concentration select the concentration for the control copy it and paste that in the section here in this column now we have two columns one for the disease and one for the control and the concentration is determined in picogram per mil to uh, draw a part chart click on a new graph and then select the part chart here click on ok uh, Part chart is produced do a little bit of editing here by uh, giving it a title uh, x-axis is the groups and for y-axis is the absorbance we could also change the color of the part right click select the choose color scheme and then more color scheme click on the color scheme scroll down to muted rainbow click on it then click on ok this graph it shows that there is a difference between the disease and the control uh, and the protein levels is very high in the uh, diseased compared to the control to determine whether there is a significant difference between these two groups then we need to do statistical analysis using the t-test if you click on analyze here the software has automatically recognized that these data fit into t-test click on ok a new window will appear here showing that the experimental design these samples are un unpaired separate and for the options uh, we're going to stick with the two tailed 
and then click on OK. A result for the statistical analysis shows that comparison between control and diseases, there was a significant differences as the p-value was less than 0.05, as shown here, significantly different. So the t-test shows that there is a significant difference between the disease and the control and the levels of the disease for the protein X was high in the disease. Back again into the um, graph, uh, and I will add the p-value to the par chart by clicking on the automatically add pairwise comparison, double click on it and choose this options. And then uh, instead of having uh, asterisks, use the p-value, click on OK. Uh, p-value is generated here on this graph um, or this part chart. So this is the way to analyze data from ELISA assay and constructing a standard curve that follow quadratic polynomial second order in graph pad prism.